That's okay, sir. Just wait there. If you leave it to us, we'll deal with it, all right? This generation always want to have a go, don't they? Church, your spirit. Not quite dead yet. That looks like Darren Hutton. I haven't seen him in a while. Excuse me, can you turn that off, please? That's better. Better for whom? Leave it. Hello, Darren. Sort of right, Darren. Come on. We've received a complaint from a local resident. You've been asked to turn the music down. He came over and turned it off. He says that he was threatened. I felt quite threatened myself. Crazy old farts. A, a bottle was thrown after him. It only just missed him. OK, we're off. Good idea, Darren. I'm not going anywhere. We're perfectly within our rights to sit here as long as it suits us. You're all mouth, Darren. Do you know that? Oh, you think so, do you? Listen, she threw the bottle. I took your way out of that one. Nice boy. Uh, you're not going anywhere. I want a word with you. Sit there. Charming. I'm going to have another word with the old man. Right, how old are you? Seventeen. I don't think so. Fourteen. And what's your name? Why? Please. Emma Fraser. Where do you live, Emma? Eighteen winds away. Date of birth? Three seven eighty one. Right, how well do you know those lads? I know them. Well, you're not very choosy about the company you keep, are you? Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around with them? Did you throw the bottle? I did. I'm sorry it didn't hit him. He was shouting and swearing. Serves him right. Oh, that's your considered opinion, is it? It is, yes. He thinks military service is the answer. Yeah, well, she's admitted to throwing the bottle. She's 14 and very lippy. So what do you want to do? I have a word with her parents. We'd be wasting our time. Well, I don't see why she should get away with it. <sighs> OK. Right, Emma, you're coming with us. Where to? We're going to take you home. Oh, I don't believe this. Mrs Fraser. What's wrong? Emma, are you all right? Yes, I'm OK. What's happened? We were called to an incident earlier this evening, a group of youngsters causing a nuisance. Now... Hang on. Al, can you come, please? I want my husband here. Hi, Emma. Hi, Dad. Problem? Uh, well, yes, sir. We were called to an incident on the Abelard estate. A group of young people, including Emma, were causing a nuisance. An elderly local resident who complained was threatened and a bottle was thrown at him. Now, your daughter has been identified. She's admitted throwing the bottle. Obviously, had it hit the gentleman... Are you going to arrest her? Well, given her age... You're not going to arrest her. It's possible in some circumstances that the parents may be able to exert a more effective influence, sir. Really? That's quite a mouthful, Constable. You must have been on a course. The group of young men that Emma was with were considerably older than her. She was drinking. At least one of them has a criminal record. And you brought her home. Thank you. Well done. Now, is there any further action that you suggest we might take? Your daughter's 14, isn't she, sir? Are you aware that she drinks? Keep her in for a week, eh? Uh, stop her pocket money? What do you think, Constable? Look, we brought her down here because we thought that a talk with you might be more productive than taking her down to Sun Hill and putting her under police protection. Am I being threatened here? Oh, leave it. Thank you. Yes, we'll talk to her. It's a good idea. Emma, come in, please. Excuse me. We've always tried to treat Emma as an adult. She's a very high IQ. She's not cleverer, more mature than her peer group, and that causes problems, petty jealousy, so she's striking out on her own. Now, of course, there'll be a downside, lessons to be learned, but I think, on balance, that I prefer Emma that way. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Condescending jerk. Let's see where she gets it from. Maybe a teacher. Him. Yeah, I reckon. He's got the kind of certainties that only come from never being challenged by anybody over the age of 15. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar, Fitz Road, Bag Snatch. Real work. Sierra Oscar from Sierra 1, on way. You right, love? She's still breathing. What happened? We were walking along the street. We're off to the bingo. It's a lad on a bike. What, a motorbike? Um, bicycle, one of them mountain bike things. He comes straight at us, grabbed her bag as he went past. She hit the ground with a terrible crack. Ah, it's a bag snatch. Uh -huh. What'd he look like? Uh, uh, blue jacket, orange short. Sounds like Darren Hutton. He went that way, towards the Camley. Right. He'll be heading towards the garage. Come on, love. Ambulance is here. What a surprise. Take 
try Dolby Street. Well done, turn that in. Come on, Darren, give it up. Not again. Wait, hang on, hang on. What's up? I don't think you made it. You know, right, put your arms up, I'm gonna search you. It's a bag snatch, you match the description. I ain't done anything. Oh no, what's this? It's mine. <sighs> what did you throw away when you saw us, Darren? Nothing. I didn't throw nothing away. Let's go and have a look, shall we, eh? When you did your runner out of the garages, you threw away a bag. This bag. For the tape, I'm showing the prisoner a handbag. No, I didn't throw nothing away. We saw you. No. And when we searched you, you were found to be carrying 60 pounds. Well, I did a job. We know that. Yeah, it was a labouring job, shifting stuff into skips. Your prints could be all over this handbag, and the purse, and you're going to go down for it. Can I go now? Sit down. You've got nothing on me. Right, let's talk about this bike, shall we? Well, what about it? Well, where did you get it? I bought it. Who from? A bird, I know. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, dear. What's that? Well, we checked. And I'm afraid that the bike has a coded identity number stamped on it, indicating that it's stolen property. I bought it. Who from? You'll never guess. Try us. Well, it's that snotty bird, Emma Fraser. She said she had a mate wanted to get rid of it. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And I'll tell you what. If you're after villains, you could do worse than look at her. Don't believe me, do you? Whatever makes you think that, Darren. Go back in. Yes, thanks, Sarge. This way. He's winding us up. I don't think so. You just want to have another go at our friend, don't you? Well, I'm a thick copper, aren't I? I can't understand why Mr Fraser's little darling chooses to hang around with our local scrotes. Perhaps he can enlighten me. <clears throat> Al? Al? They want to talk to Emma. She's at Susie, one of her friends. You don't give up, do you? Dogged, I think the word is. We've arrested a young man. Darren Hutton? Never heard of him. He was one of your daughter's companions earlier this evening. He snatched a bag from her pension and knocking her to the ground. You're gonna get these kids, aren't you, one way or the other? The old lady's in St Hughes, and still unconscious. Darren Hutton used a stolen mountain bike in the attack. When we asked him about it, he claimed that he bought the bike from your daughter. And you believe him? We need to check with Emma. Emma does not own a mountain bike. She's never had one. Well, we still need to talk to her. I'll phone her. Thank you. Explain this to me, please. A group of kids arrive on the street. Their behaviour over the next few small minutes in a world filled with disasters is not what you guardians of propriety think it ought to be. So, having no greater good to perform, you spend the rest of your evening harassing these children until they finally understand that their role in life is to be seen but not heard. Am I right? No, sir, you're not. And if you don't mind me saying so, that's a rather silly attitude. She's not there. Well, she must have called one of the others on the way. Do you know when she'll be back? No, she often comes in after we've gone to bed. Well, do you have any idea when she was supposed to arrive at her friend's? Actually, she's not expected. She wasn't going there? No, she must have gone somewhere else, changed her mind. Ring one of the others. Well, who? Well, I don't know. Come on, Jan, I'll be standing here all night. But I only know them by their Christian names. Where do they live? I've no idea where they live. Great. Look, Al, they're a different lot now. They come, they go. She's outgrown all her old friends. Has she got an address book? Well, if she has, it'll be in her bedroom. Right, well, let's go and have a look, shall we? This is ridiculous. Just because Emma is not the kind of 14-year-old that you're used to, you... You're having difficulty coping with us, aren't you, Constable? 
Well, you get all sorts, sir. Just have to grit your teeth and get on with it. She doesn't allow us in here. Actually, she's rarely at home. Hotel phase, you know, eat, sleep, getting your washing done. Here's a diary. It's locked. Uh, did you buy her all this? No, I don't think so. But we can't have done. I mean, it's too much. She doesn't need all this. No, well, I wouldn't have thought so. What are you doing? There's a lot of money there. Al, get up here! Al! Found it. What is all this? She has been busy. I found this in the drawer. She hadn't even bothered to hide it. There's also several hundred pounds here. These are banned substances, Mr. Fraser. Emma is not using drugs. Al, how do we know? Look at all this! I know she isn't. How do you know, sir? I'm ahead of you at Candy Comprehenso. I deal with this sort of problem all the time. Emma has never shown any signs of using drugs. Alarm bells would have rung. Well, how do you explain this, then? You tell me. She could be dealing. And we've no idea where she is. No! Right. We've got to find her. We intend to, Mr. Fraser. She needs to help us with our inquiries. Hello, Susie. This is June Ackland. She's an officer down at Sun Hill. Can we come in, please? I suppose so. Thank you. Susie, we're trying to find Emma. Do you have any idea where she might be? No. Only she said that she was coming here to see you to, uh, to do some homework. She says that sometimes. But she's really going somewhere else. She's using you as an alibi, yes? Yeah. We need to find her. I don't know where she is tonight. Look, Susie, Emma is in a great deal of trouble. We found a whole load of stolen gear in her bedroom. Now, you're her friend. We need your help. She says it's not stolen. The stuff she gets. Well, what is it, then? She calls it a swap shop. She can get you anything. Video games, sound systems, computers, CDs. I got some of her once. Quid each. Good deal. So where does she get them from? Lad, she knocks around with. Do you know their names? There's one called Darren. Yeah, we already know about him. She's got him eating out of her hand. Susie, is Emma doing drugs? No. Are you certain of that? Yes. Oh, thank God for that. But she is dealing. Some girls were going to a rave. They wanted some me. Emma said she could get it from. Oh, I think she's mad. I told her we had a big bust up. So where does she get it from? No idea. Are you sure? Yes. Sorry. Don't worry, Mrs. Fraser. She'll be okay. That's it. Hiya. What you got for me? Aladdin's cave. Not much. Here. You had a big turnover, our little friend. How old is she? Fourteen. Didn't her parents notice anything unusual? They thought that she was maturing ahead of her time. Sounds like they were right. <laughs> There's none so blind as them who will not see. Mr. Fraser. WPC Kathy Marshall. Come to pick up the property from Emma's bedroom. Right. You want a cup of tea? Oh, no, thanks, sir. We'll get on. Sounds like there's a lot to do. I must look a right mess. You don't look too bad. Then you need glasses. Mrs. Sykes, I need to ask you what you remember about the attack. All of it. Every second I was fine till I hit the floor. Oh, right. He caught me off balance. Could you describe your attacker at all? Describe him? I watched the little bleeder grow up. Darren Hutton. No manners, no saving graces. Should have been drowned at birth. Do you want his address? No, no, I don't think that would be necessary. I think we're on top of that one. Nearly done. Just a few more. You should have bought the TARDIS. Can I have a word? Yeah, okay. I was wondering... I, I was wondering what you're going to do about Emma. Well, we need to speak to her, obviously. The sooner the better. No. How are you going to set about finding her? Well, we put out a description. All you need to be keeping an eye out for her. And that's it, is it? Well, there's only so much we can do at the moment. We do need to find Emma, urgently. She's your responsibility. You've no idea where she is. We'll come back when she reappears. In the meantime, we get on with all the other cases that need tackling. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar. Over. Excuse me. 
sir. As soon as Emma comes back, you must get her down to Sun Hill. Okay. She's in serious trouble, but it's better to face it now and start getting things sorted out. Look, what if she's run away? If she sees all this outside the house, she'll know what's happened. Um, yeah? The old lady's come round. She's ID Darren. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, look, thanks. And I apologise for Al. I know he rubs people up the wrong way. That's all right, don't worry. You've been identified, Darren. No, no. Oh, yes, you have. Hey, what was it? Were you drunk? Are you on something? I'm fine, me. Really? Yeah. Well, then you were being remarkably stupid to pick on somebody you knew. Well, what do you mean? Mrs Sykes. It's the old lady you flattened. A pensioner on her way to the bingo. Oh, that must have taken some guts, Darren. What was it Emma Fraser said? All mouth. Emma Fraser. You reckon she's the smart one, do you? We've seen her bedroom, haven't we? She's got quite a setup. Look, she was nothing when she came to me. So how did you get her started? She was at a rave. She bought some CDs. Came back a few days later for some more from mates. It went from there. How do you mean? Well, she got a taste. She came back wanting computer games. I knew somebody who had some. Yeah, I bet you did. And you got them for her? To start with. And I gave her some contact names. She took them over after a while. She learns fast. So she was using you? Look, I saw her coming. She was always trouble, making money off everybody with none of the risks. Now, she gets the idea she can control you, you know, like we're her servants or something. Fancy her, did you? No, thanks. She's a pain in the ass. I know what you mean. Do you want her? Sorry? Do you want her and somebody else? Somebody big. Will it help me? Every little helps, Darren. Go on. I made an introduction, and I? An introduction to whom? George Galley. The dealer? She better be careful how she talks to him, eh? She looks down and knows at him, and he'll flatten it for her. No messing. So where's she supposed to be meeting him? Tonight, at the Tally Arms. Bit out of her class, ain't she? George Galley? Yeah, half nine. Yeah, it's too late to get him up from CID and the girl's gonna recognise you two. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need uh, two in the pub, yeah? You, Tony and I, outside? Huh? Yeah, Polly, can you get a hold of Dave Quinnan and Steve Locks and get them back here ASAP? Oh, she'd love it if she knew we were here. What do she think she's up to, that girl? I don't know, you know, I think she gets some kind of buzz out of it. Mm. I feel sorry for the mum. Father's a cretin. I don't think I know him. Then he plays squash. He seems all right to me. Yeah, here she is. Vodka and orange, please. Could be her. Uh... I think you cracked it. Yeah, too young for me. Smile. Oh, we smile. If you think something's up. Well, we're an item. Hold it. Here we go. Maybe he's more at time. Where are they going? It's meant to be doing the deal in here, I think. Haven't been in there long. Where's he taking her? 92 from 363. Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Emma's getting into Gally's car. Right, we'll give a chance to do the deal. Think about. They're moving off. They're moving off, we're going out. She's going to jump out! Oh. Hey, take it easy, Anna. Bastard! You all right? Hey, careful, careful. All right, steady. He's got my money. Right. Come on. 
Is she all right? Well, she's got cuts and bruises. The doctor's seen her. He's given her the OK. Right, I'm going to show you some property we found in your room earlier this evening. This way, please. Emma. Hi. I never realised there was so much. We need to talk to you about the stolen property found in your room. Was it stolen? I didn't know that. Really? Really. Where did you get it? Darren. Oh, you just thought he was your very own Father Christmas, did you? And you sold the stuff on you? Was that just to your mates? Anybody, really. So where did you think it all came from? Lapland. We found a quantity of drugs in your room, Emma. I was keeping it for some friends. Silly of me. You went to meet George Galley tonight. Was that to get more drugs for your friends? I've never seen him before in my life. But you weren't there to buy drugs off him, Emma. No, I didn't. Do you have any idea of how much danger you were in tonight? I don't know that man. I went to the pub for a drink. I like pub. Emma, stop it, please. We saw a friend of yours earlier. She said that you could get anything for anybody. Susie. She's just a jealous cow. Was she right? Of course she is. Darren is very good at what he does. I'll give him that. I didn't know he was stealing the stuff. Don't believe you, Emma. You don't understand, do you? I wasn't getting anything out of this. I was just putting people in touch with other people. Yes, to buy stolen property. Nothing to do with me. Somebody had something they wanted to get rid of and somebody needed it. I was just the facilitator. I can't believe that you never queried where any of this stuff came from. Well, that's you, isn't it? You ask too many questions. Must come with the job, huh? They're on their way. What happens now? Papers will be referred to the youth community section. I mean, will she be charged? It's up to them. There's a tendency not to bring charges at her age. However, it is a serious case. Hi, Dad. You all right? I'm worn out. No stamina. I'm hungry. I could do the takeaway. June, thanks for everything you've tried to do. That's all right. I'm just sorry it came to this. Come on, Mum. It's past his bedtime. Get in the car, Emma, and shut up! 